Reed. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Well, welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. In the here. red chair, the here fierce are. red chair. Well deserved. The bums that have sat here. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Soaking up the wisdom. Uh, and so, Lost Girl, just, uh, I, I've interviewed people who've been in sci-fi fantasy genre stuff before, mm -hmm. and oftentimes they tell me, oh, I've been a fan of this stuff since I was a kid, and I go, you're lying, the publicist told you to say that, you've never seen it, but from what I understand, you actually, like, played Dungeons and Dragons yes. and all that, right? True nerd. You were. <laughs> Hold on. Um, yeah, I was an only child, so I would play Dungeons and Dragons by myself. Wow. How sad is that? Pretty sad. <laughs> Hit to the head. Ooh, I... <laughs> So then when you got a chance to be in that kind of stuff, was it particularly exciting? Yeah, you know, when I read the first Lost Girl pilot, um, I just really gravitated towards it. I just, I wanted to be on that show. I knew it, and um, I brought that energy to the audition, and thank God the, uh, the producers and the writer, they, were there, they responded to it. I came in, I actually made my headshot of a timber wolf. Because yeah. I was like, it's me, you right. know? And, <laughs> and then, you know, they were also very receptive to, like, the backstory that I wanted to bring in, and... Just break, making the character a little bigger than what it was on the page. Oh, that's me. Hey, that's you, yeah. I'm not yeah, used yeah. to this. <laughs> uh, on my show, all the monitors are turned the other way, <laughs> so that us like attention deficit actors will go, "Hey, look at me." <laughs> Most of the times, we don't want actors to see themselves exactly because they cower. <laughs> they cower in self-doubt. Right. Uh, we're in the era now where everybody's a werewolf or a vampire. We're in that era, and people were forced to take a side. You know, and so you clearly have to make your choice and you have your group. If you ever been in a room and seen one of those kids from Twilight and thought, if I beat him up now, <laughs> I will really solidify. There's, there's, no, there's no such thing as bad press, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, Can you imagine beating him up? <laughs> take out like three other werewolf guys just standing on top of their bodies. <laughs> Enough said. Pentathlon. Pentathlon. Yeah. Of the five, uh, I think running, long distance running is a sport. Long distance swimming is a sport. Oh, gonna be fighting words, my well, friends. listen, long distance swimming <laughs> is sort of a sport, but as George Carlin said, it's a way to keep from drowning, so it seems more <laughs> survival, practical. Yeah, yeah. Um, then one of them was horse jumping. You did horse jumping? Yes. Yeah. Is that a, are you good at that? I, I used to be. Pan Am I, games, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I, I had some skills. I wondered when you, when you left that competitive world, mm -hmm. it's hard to turn the competitive thing off if you can yeah. at all. But our, acting and, and the arts is a tough place to be competitive. You know what's funny? In high school, I'd wanted to be an actor. My mother made me a collage on my 18th birthday, and one of the things was, is this the world's hottest leading man? So I must, it must have been in my vernacular growing up. Wait a second, your mother did that? My mother, my, I have a great mother. My mother's incredible. Listen, if your moms don't believe in you, who will, right? Exactly. So I get that. Let's figure <laughs> out what was Chris Oldenry right after this. <laughs> Night of the Demons 3. 24 years old. 22, 22, 23. I can't even remember. Maybe it was released when I was 24, but. Right. Being Wayne Gretzky and the story about Walter Gretzky. Uh, I mean, tell me about that. That was one of the most humbling and most incredible experiences for me in my career. Um, to fill his shoes, first of all, a huge responsibility. But what you probably don't know is we actually filmed in the Rex Hall. Well, you probably do, actually. You know everything. <laughs> just a few. Just a few. But uh, we had 3,000 volunteer extras come in for his retirement skate scene. And so here I was in his uniform out on the ice, and there's a sea of people who are reliving this moment. And I felt like such a fraud because I'm like, <laughs> I'm just Chris Holden Reed, this dude. Yeah. And you know, and, but the emotion that they were giving to me, I knew this was, it was one of those moments where I was realized, this is not about anything going on here. This is about them. And it was in Edmonton. It was in Edmonton. Do you get recognized more for being Wayne Gretzky or how many people are convinced that you're the guy from Coldplay? Coldplay, hands down, man. You must get the Chris Martin thing like crazy. And my name's Chris. And your name's Chris. It's, it's confusing. Like, Hi, what's your name? Chris. 
panic. Pretty much. It's, it's exact. I can always tell if people re recognize me from law school or from TV or whether they think we're smart based on the responses. When, when, they're, when it's me, they're like, oh, I really like your work, man. Keep it up. Yeah. When it's Chris Martin, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but listen, true or false, and I don't want you to give away any chronology, but have you ever used it to your advantage? Once. You did? In the very beginning. <laughs> I didn't know. Really? It was film festival, the first film festival where he was a big thing. Gwyneth Paltrow was in town. Right. I had no idea what's going on. I'm walking the you red carpet. You made up with Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> I wish. Gwyneth, wherever you are. <laughs> so you're walking the red carpet. I'm walking the red carpet, and people are going, Chris, I love your work. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, my movie doesn't screen until like the end of the week. How is this? And I start turning around, I'm like, yeah, OK, thanks. And then they start screaming, and I'm like, so confused, I didn't know until, because I love the music Coldplay, but I'd never seen Chris Martin's face. I didn't know we looked alike. So later that week, at the, well, the next day, actually, I got a film, uh, a, a T-shirt for the festival that said, I'm not him. <laughs> and I would wear it out, and people, would, and the suspension that people do when, when they see someone that they think is famous is quite incredible. People wouldn't believe that I wasn't Chris they Martin. They think it's ironic. They do, they're like, yeah. you're so cool, man, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr. ran across a bar, picked me up, and he's like, I love you, man. I'm like, dude, read this shirt. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, word association time. Oh my I gosh. I say lichen, you say? Licking. <laughs> it's a sexy show, tune in. I say nickname, you say? Snoopy. <laughs> Horrible story. <laughs> My next question is, how did you get the nickname Snoopy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. My, it, was, it was what my parents called me as a kid, and apparently it was like super, yeah. turned into Soupy, right. turned into Snoopy, right. and then somehow I was Snoopy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. A beagle. Now when you see him and you go, are you the guy from Coldplay? Just call him Snoopy. That's um, right. Most important lesson you learned as a waiter. Oh, how to communicate with people and be fast on your toes. Did you ever spit in somebody's food? No. Did you ever want to? Yes. Um, for me, it's love, actually, that last scene at the airport when the Beach Boys song comes on, so much so that I can't even watch it anymore. What's the one thing that if it comes on TV, you watch it, you are guaranteed to cry? Ooh. Cry? Yeah. Like, I mean, like... <sighs> like one of those. God, it's changed over the years. What is it now? I don't know. It's been a while. I, I Braveheart used to do it for me. Really? Yeah. I know. It's like... Braveheart? <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Lost Girls, the show, Chris Holden, read everybody, we'll be right back.